Here is another amazing way to do our basic multiplication. Um, let's say we wanted to multiply 12 times 13, which we can do mentally in our head, and we can also write it down. But apparently, um, according to the sources that I've studied, this is an ancient Chinese method, and we need to give it a name because I'm just going to use bars or strokes. So I'm calling it the stroke multiplication just to give it a name and it may have originated from Thailand I'm not sure but just for this exercise I just want to show you the diversity of number calculation which has fascinated people for thousands of years so we're going to look at the number 12 here so number 12 is this is on base 10 so we know this value here is worth 10 points but 12 is two more than 10 so over here I'm going to put two bars. These are units. Okay, so that's 10 and that's the 2. That's 12. We're multiplying 12 by 13. So this time I'm going to put the 10 going at 90 degrees across there. So if that's 10, we obviously need another three bars to represent the 13. So I'll just do 1, 2, 3. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do now is that what we're looking at is the intersection points. The point, the interstices, or the points of intersection, can be separated into three sections. So I'm going to put a curve here and a curve here. And what does that tell us? I'm going to highlight, say, here we have, I'm going to put a circle. There's one point, so that's one. We'll call that 100. That's one. In the middle here, how many intersections do we have between the two arcs? I'll just put circles around them. There's one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to put a forward slash and the number five. So that's 50. And for the units, these are the unit points here. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Six. So the answer is 156. I think that's not just a mathematical curiosity. I find that actually genius. It's brilliant. So let's just do one more because this one was a simple one without, without a carryover. So I'd like to do another one that involves a carryover. So let's try one more, just a bit bigger. We'll still use, we'll still use 12 again. We we'll use 12 times the 34. So we've already done the 12 here. So how do we do 12? We do a vertical bar of 10 with two units. One, two. Now obviously when we do the 34, we're going to need three bars of 10. So to do the 30, we need to do three bars of 10. One, that's 10, 20, 30. And to do the four, that's the units, we need four horizontal lines of unit points. Lines, one, two, three, four. And this time we need to separate the hundreds, the hundreds from the tens, from the units. So I put in my two arcs, that's one arc, and there's another arc, and that separates the information into three categories. So we get the, our pink over here and we say, how many intersecting points are over here? There's one, two, three. So that's um, three lots of 100, that's 300. I'm gonna put in what we call forward slash because that separates the hundreds from the tens from the units. Now in the middle here, we've got a lot of, a lot of intersections. So I'll just circle them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's more over here, seven, eight, nine. There's 10 of those. So I'm gonna put, instead of a big one, I'm gonna put a baby one, you'll see why. So there's the 10, a baby one and a zero. And how many do we have over here? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight there, so I write the eight. But the answer is not three, ten, eight. We need to bring this carry over, this one, and carry over it to the left. 
So the answer becomes 408. Yes, yeah, so um, that's um, a cute little method. It's definitely something you can use. Obviously, when you use big numbers, like if you were doing 37 by 49, you're obviously going to have many, many more lines. So I deliberately chose the, the, the numbers with small digits, like 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So um, practice some of this at home, just to know that mathematics is fun, it's beautiful, and it's also multiculturally diverse.